Hello guys, and welcome to another collection showcase. Today, I'll be showing you our next collection, which is titled Dungeons of the Maria. It features a lot of prisoners, monsters, prison guards, and obviously a lot of open lock terrain and props that you could use for your next uh, dungeon or prison adventure. Remember that we always put out a one-shot adventure PDF that comes along with these miniatures, so make sure you check that out on Patreon and My Mini Factory Tribes. The first models that I want to show you are these three prisoners. They could be used in a lot of different scenarios, but they are very fitting to this dungeon collection. Let me know what you think about them. Do you think these are useful enough to add to your campaign? If not, why so? Leave a comment below. For now, let's move to the next one, which are a couple of prison guards. These guys are super badass. They are guarding the prison and won't let anyone out. I love how these models came out. I love how puffy their coats look uh, with these little patches. Uh, hopefully you like them too. Let's move to the next, which are a set of blue capes. If you haven't read our one-shot adventures, blue capes are the guardians of the Maria. These guys make sure that nothing weird's going on, that there's no robberies. They take care of business. They are the main force that Tamari has to combat delinquency and the Verdant Company, which, as you know, are a bad, evil organization that's in Tamaria and other cities in the Empire. But those are the blue capes. Now we have a Ravager, and this is mainly because of story reasons. You'll need one Ravager to run this month's campaign, so we decided to add one extra Ravager to the collection of Ravagers that we have done from uh, last year's sewers of the Maria where we featured a lot of ravagers and rat men you will also find a couple in the throwback folder this month but this guy is just super sick we needed an updated ravager so this one came out amazing but what do you think i love the pose i love the tail the texture it has the hands look super dynamic so this is one of my favorite minis from the month next we have the key keeper this guy's a bit of a mystery he doesn't have a face and he keeps the keys in the dungeons or at the prison and the reason why he doesn't have a face is because he's not a real human. To know more about him, you'll have to go read the PDF, but I promise it's a super interesting story. And I also loved how dynamic the pose in this model came out. I can show you the back part of it as his little cape. And he's making sure, along with the two dogs, that no one's getting away because they guard the keys the best they can. Next, we have a couple slimes. There's never enough slimes. These are always fun encounters. Players love them. And this came out super, super cool. They're very dynamic. I was even thinking about printing them on translucent resin and then just painting the props that are not part of the goo that makes out the slime. And that way you can have a very cool effect uh, of a translucent miniature and make it pop. What do you think? What kind of encounters would this be great for? Next, we have a prisoner troll which has been chained. Uh, we have a couple poses. The first one's been chained to a rock, and the second one is about to escape. And they do take part of the story and are important, but again, you'll just have to go see the PDF to, to get to know more about them. Uh, but what do you think? I think these poses look super nice. Uh, they're kind of specific, the two poses, but I think they can still be used in a couple different scenarios, so I'm not too worried about that. Eager to see this, these guys painted, I think that they'll be awesome. And next, our final character and the boss for this month's collection is this demon. I will tell you more about the lore of this demon in upcoming videos. This demon was summoned years and years ago from a portal by a very powerful magician, and now to keep him chained or imprisoned, they have to use very powerful magic. But yeah, this is a big model. It's great for any encounters. Let me know, what else would you use this guy for? I think it's very versatile. And I also think that it could be a very fun encounter for players to, to fight against this kind of demon. Last but not least, we have a lot of props and terrain. We have some things that you can use to populate. And we also have some of this uh, prisoner boxes this can be separated they come in parts so you can have a couple of maybe npcs inside here or maybe even some of your players if they do something wrong you can throw them in here inside the cage and have them pay for what they did and as always a lot of open lock terrain remember that you can use any any open lock clip that you find online 
to attach these tiles and have fun with them. You can create very epic things with these tiles. We've seen on our Discord server, uh, a lot of our patrons do epic stuff with this tile. So don't forget to join if you want to be part of that server. Share with us your painted minis. See what others are making with these models and chat a little bit with other people that are very into the hobby as well and have a good time. So that's it. That's our collection for November 2021. It's a pretty hefty collection and this is not even counting the throwback folder which if you don't know what it is, it's a collection of models that we put out every month that goes along with the new collection. It's made of models from previous collection that could be used in the adventures or are sort of in the same topic, just to make the bundle more appealing. If you're interested in getting this collection and the throwback folder for November or any of our previous collections, you can go to our My Mini Factory Tribes store or Patreon page. We'll link them all in the description and learn more about the almost 500 models in different poses that we've put out in the past three years. That's it for this showcase, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like the models. Thank you so much for uh, taking a look and staying with me for a bit. Have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next showcase. Cheers.